The other interesting thing with the obesity question, we found that there's a hormone that was well known and understood that is responsible for fat storage. And that hormone was greatly reduced in the diets with the um, ancient grains. So we're thinking that in the long term, it could also be used in uh, weight reduction, which is kind of um, counterintuitive to a lot of the, um, the noise being uh, perpetrated out on the on the street. With that, um, we were really excited that we're ready for some data that really supports what people are telling us. Uh, in the irritable bowel syndrome um, study, we had people uh, in that every single person in that test who all had serious um, complications with irritable bowel had 50 to 100 percent um, improvement in all of their symptoms, not just one or two. Uh, the bloating disappeared or or uh, the cramps, or all those other symptoms that go with that diarrhea, constipation, all these kinds of things. They were reduced by 50 to 100% in every single person, every single um, symptom. That was, there isn't any medicine that can do that. There's no pill that can do that. Um, and it was, uh, the um, researchers were astounded. With the heart, with the heart um, uh, disease trial, after they took my money, um, I found out later they didn't think we'd see anything because all these people at least had one heart attack and they were all on statins and three or four other drugs to prevent the second heart attack. So they thought the influence of the drugs would certainly override any difference in food. But guess what? That wasn't true. We did see additional reduction in cholesterol, additional reduction, in increase in um, magnesium, all those things that are very positive. With ancient grain, we saw an increase of... With, um, we did also did studies with gene regulation. This is really interesting. So the, the genes that regulate the uh, production of inflammatory molecules were um, suppressed on a diet of ancient wheat, and they were stimulated on a diet of modern wheat. So we, even at the cellular level, at the gene level, we're seeing effects. Now, we don't know the mode of action. We don't know uh, what exactly is triggering all this stuff. But guess what? I don't think it's just one thing. You know, the scientists are always looking for the magic bullet, the one thing that we can um, extract, uh, purify, and sell you in a pill. I, I think that with food, we'll never be able to do that. It's not designed that way. Um, food is to be eaten whole. <laughs> um, it's to be eaten in a variety. Um, vegetables and uh, mixed vegetables and all kinds of stuff with fruits and, and grains and everything else. Um, then you get the combinations you need to be healthy and strong. Um, and if we try to figure out what we've done or, or what we can extract from ancient grain to, to cover up the problems of modern wheat, I think that's going the wrong direction.